Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Phantasmagoria. Last we left off, Adrian was sticking her hand in the freaking proto ectoplasm thingy. Yeah, you leave that room. You leave that room now. Leave the room, go down the hall, down the stairs, out the door, get in the car, and drive. Heck, grab Dawn first. Be like, okay, you know that thing about the bed grabbing me? Here's my proof that there's something wrong with the house. Let's go! But no, well, at least go tell him about this. Ah, and here we are in the bathroom. Look at that very special structure in the middle. What do you think that is? If you the guessed... world's most impractical shower. I was going to say, if you guessed shower, you were apparently right. But those facets, uh, faucets rather, make it rather impossible to actually use it as a shower. If it were actually, if they were knobs, or even just spaced out a little more, that would be one thing. But you can't use that as a shower. I mean, look at it. The faucets are right in the only spot you can actually stand under the shower head. And, of course, since there's a mirror, Adrian has to look at herself in it. Well, you know, she still needs to be pretty and... Well, you know... That's about her only redeeming trait in many ways. Alright, so there's stuff that you can interact with on this sink, and they do the same thing every single chapter no matter what. And apparently one is in her butt. Which is a really bad place to store cosmetics. Oh, yes. So, it's her lipstick. Gotta touch that up. Well, you know, the makeup artist had the day off, so... She had to do it herself. Yeah. So, the next item is... Her rouge. Which, I never actually noticed any rouge, but I suppose that's the point, is to try to look as natural as possible. Yeah. But, you know, you think about it for a second... Did they really give her a mirror here, or has she just done this so often she has it down pat? They did actually install a mirror um, for them to use in the green screen. And so, of course, naturally she has to brush her hair. Because you can see how tangled it was that her brush is just running right through it. Yeah. That whole five minutes between fussing with it the last time oh, yeah. really did the number on it. And her hands, after all that, they need a little bit of washing. I mean, between applying the, the rouge with her hands... And touching the ectoplasm. Yeah, I would wash my hands immediately, too. Of course, now she's got that ectoplasm all over her face. That's true, she didn't wash her hands first. And also, if you use the washcloth, it does the same thing as the uh, clicking on the faucets. Just you wash your hands with it again. And apparently she needs lotion, because her hands are apparently so dry. Even with all the ectoplasm and not actually applying soap to her hands to wash them. Yeah, that non-soap is so hard on her hands. And apparently the lotion smells, because she had to smell it. She had to sniff it. I love that little smile she had on her face, too, as she does it. All this right. is all I'm good for. So it's time to leave the bathroom. We could use the toilet, but I decide not to. Yeah, we'll we, we'll save that for another time. Yeah. So continuing down the hallway, we have a couple of different directions we could go. Going to the right first. And, uh, hey, there's a TV. Ooh, I wonder if they get cable here. Apparently not. Oh, wait. Just... Uh, no, it's just some puppet show. Yeah. It's not all that entertaining either. No, just kind of looks random. Alright, and apparently there is a computer. I forget what I was saying here, but go to the computer. There we go. Wait, I thought Be a good little off. puppet. You thought you turned it off? N no. You, you couldn't have turned it off. You're not smart enough to know where the power button is yet. This was back in the days when the power button was on the back of the computer. But I could see that I could also see the mistake there. There was some visual glitching there. Uh, I could see the mistake too because there isn't a power cord anywhere near this computer. How it could be on in the first place is beyond me. 
even with assuming that battery, no, it's, it's a brick. That's not a computer, it's a brick. If you knew 1995 laptops, no. They were very good for heating your lap, though. Yes. And, and keeping papers in place. And look at that old-style, old-school $5 bill. Man, I look at that today, and it's just so weird. Because, you know, now, I mean, that's gone completely out of circulation. For the most part. It looks so weird in comparison to what we've got now. All right. So, go into the conservatory. That's what this is. This is the conservatory. It's pretty out of place. Well, I would say it's out of place, but just given the rest of the house, really. Yeah, this this is normal for what we've seen so far. Mm. And there's a painting. A little odd. Hmm. It's a bit abstract. Abstract, if I can talk right. It looks like somebody just started on it and then never got a chance to finish it, though. Yeah. Yeah. It's a shame we'll never see it finished. But yeah. there's, another, there's another painting over here. That la... That, uh... That la la... Bla, 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 bla. So that Adrian takes forever to look at. Ah, Lenora. Hmm. Artist's name is Lenora. And that's kind of to give you a clue as to who painted that little abstract bit of painting there. And uh, what's in this pot here? Oh, it's, it's an apron. And it's uh, monogrammed. And kind of dirty. H. That's, what is that that's staining that? Dirt? It looks like dirt. It's kind of rusted hmm. and she drops it on top of it and it disappears <laughs> oh and over here what is this not the thing? first item to just teleport away mm -hmm. and it won't be the last yeah but what is that Adrian asked at the same time I did as Surratt was talking over me <laughs> All right, so I think we're done upstairs. We've done just about all we can do, and now the score is three locked doors to, you know, Adrian zero. <laughs> Let's go pester Don again. Don? Man, I need to, press to vent my frustration about David Holmes not showing up somehow. Yeah, it's good to get it out. He deserves a little bit of a abuse for not even caring. Or at least taking so long with this one little cutscene. I'm just looking at my plans here, trying to figure out the best way for me to do this. Did you get an accent, Don? Yeah, really coming along. <laughs> yeah, I know. I've been working on it. And he goes right back to work. Did you want something, sweetheart? Oh, no, I didn't get Oh no, I just wanted to pester you and bother you until you were completely annoyed with me. I can barely hear Adrian at times. But we can check out the sink! Yay! Ew. Is the sink still clogged? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna work on it again later. Ew! Well, okay, what did you know if I can help. Thanks. What did you think was going to be in the sink? What, what did, did you think it, it would be would be ugly still? And, oh, I'm pointing out that the lamp is no longer interactable. That's the right word, isn't it? Yeah. And I love how she gets right in there. Adrian, I can do this better myself, please. Okay, jeez. Well, yeah. I'm sorry, hon. I'm just trying to get this done. Sure. Okay. sure. Okay, first she gets pissed at him for telling her to back off, and then she sounds all, yeah, sure, after he apologizes for snapping at her. Come because on. obviously, putting your hands near a screw that's being put into wood is a good idea. Yeah. 
you guys can probably tell by now what rubs me the wrong way about Adrian. So since we've done just about all we can do in the house for now, let's go explore outside. It's a nice view of the front door. And you notice she didn't even bring up the ectoplasm. Oh yeah, no. That would be one of those things like, oh yeah, by the way, honey, there's a floating ball of ectoplasm in the nursery. Maybe we should uh, check that out or, you know, leave. Anyway, Get an old priest and a young priest. <laughs> so, checking more about the backyard and there's little fountain the thing. What's it and called? And the overly flat textured grass. Oh, yeah. That's a cool little fountain. Interesting architecture around it. All right. And kind of looks like a harp. Going this way. Why is there a face on the side of the house? Wait. We have a house with a floating ball of ectoplasm, a dungeon complete with manacles, and a working electric chair, and the face is what makes you jump. Well, okay, you have a valid point, but still, it's a face! On the side of the house. It's All a right. gargoyle above the oven. <laughs> I point out here that there's really only one way to access the gazebo, and it's the way that I do it. You have to walk to one side, then walk to the other, and do this little zigzag pattern instead of walking straight to the gazebo. And the gazebo actually becomes important later. Ah. <sighs> Right, Once again, good old-fashioned Sierra pixel hunting. And we enter this area, and there's a graveyard on the property. That's encouraging. So what is it we're looking at, Adrian? You want to tell us? You want to say something? I guess not. Yeah, what does it say about your property when you have your own graveyard? It says you want to keep all your valuables on the estate. Including the remains. That's too far. That'd be a long jump. Well, I didn't tell you to jump now, did I, Adrian? Not yet. But we're darn close to it. <laughs> Alright, and go backtracking. Backtrack, backtrack, fucking backtrack. Okay. <laughs> And we're back at the front door. Fantastic. Oh, hey, there's a little barn. Why would he have a barn? I mean, I get that this place is full of weird stuff, and but a barn just kind of seems out of place. And that would be locked doors count four. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, you need, you know, the horses for the old carriages and stuff that they had in the late 19th century and stuff. Because I know a lot about the late 19th century. All right, and we're now in Nepawam set. And, uh, this is a lighthouse. This looks very New Englandy. But, oh. Yeah, and this was right around... I started to go into a rant, but I decided this was right around when we lost... ran out of time for this installment of Let's Play Phantasmagoria. Hope to see you next time, where we explore the town of Nepalwamset. Take care, everyone. It was a very tired dog. It was dog tired. I'm sorry for that. You're right, huh? Debatably. You're a novelist like Stephanie Meyer is a novelist. Hi, honey. Oh! That's what you get for saying no. You know, I'm not really sure what that says. We're doing a co-commentary Let's Play, and you don't even notice that I'm not there for a couple of minutes. Well, it's just...